Maureen is calling from South Austin. Hello, Maureen. Welcome. You're on KLBJ. Hi. I just wanted to uh, put in my two cents on the on the uh, reputation or the or the, uh, the perception of police officers. Um, I, I would not want to second guess a police officer in, in any deadly force situation. I really would not. But they have a reputation for hassling teenagers for good reason. I'm 63 years old and I grew up in St. Louis and I can tell you that they have me in suburban St. Louis when I was driving to pull me over, check my registration, check my insurance, check my license for no reason other than I was a teenager driving a car. Morning, Dave. Good morning. I just want to let uh, Sergeant Sam know it's not all P. Dream like he says. I live in a small community and uh, it took seven years straight police department out. I got eight tickets in one day, went to the courthouse, they were all dropped because they were frivolous. And what they were doing is they're collecting the $25 a ticket court cost, even if you don't go to court. And that's how they were raking money. The way the city took care of it, they cut the police department in half, and now they don't harass nobody anymore. Well, you know, I know a lot of small departments, they, you know, they have speed traps, they have a lot of situations, but, you know, normally they don't mess with the people that live within the community. They catch four saps right out of towners driving through the community. Were those alleged traffic violations, Dave? One two mile an hour over the speed limit. What? What? Uh, you said you got eight. Were Were eight all eight? In one day. Were they all traffic violations allegedly? Yes, all one two mile an hour over the speed limit. I'm a delivery driver. <laughs> two miles an hour. That is hen house if I ever heard it. They must have been following you all day. Just no. They had. They had uh, in a, in a five mile radius. They had about sixty cops. Have you, Sam? Have you ever heard of one person getting eight tickets in a day? Well, you know, if they run from the police, yeah. Get multiple but, for accidents. You know, you could, no, I yeah, got but pulled no. over that many times. I turn a corner, get pulled over. Go around the block, get pulled over again. Holy. Were they a, like, in a competition? <laughs> yeah, that's what it seemed like. Competition and a judge. I finally went to the judge. The judge told me, leave people alone. But they were writing them all up. So that was, uh, was that here in Central Texas? That was in the Hill Country. What town? And they finally, I ain't going to say, you can think I'm going to hang myself. <laughs> well, they don't know who you are. You're an anonymous guy on the radio. What town was? Oh, uh, no, no, no. I ain't saying that because uh, they've already had the tech rangers here to clean house one. <laughs> I ain't getting involved in that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, Dave. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. How's it going, guys? Good. Um, yeah, no, this isn't really a Texas police story, but when I was living up in Chicago, I was in two different suburbs, and the cops every year would have the thing where they would go onto people's private property, including in their garages and everything, looking for parking figures, you know, like city parking figures. And they would actually, like, do a big thing where 50 cops hit a whole neighborhood at 3 in the morning and break into people's garages putting stickers on their cars. <laughs> well, that sounds dumb. <laughs> it was ridiculous, and it was two separate suburbs. I moved to a different suburb, and when I got there, they were doing the same exact thing. We had, like, a community action meeting about it and everything, and they were just like, well, the city sticker is government property, so we have a legal right to go onto your private property to put, you know, to give you a ticket for not having it.